go to college, work hard, have a family, love them with all your heart. Then, the American dream says you live happily ever after. But for millions of Americans, the dream doesn't come true. Each day, overwhelmed by exhaustion, just trying to survive, they slip further into poverty. Not sure what they're doing wrong, these families are desperate for help. Tonight, one deserving family is about to get the chance of a lifetime. Two weeks of food, shelter, and personal coaching. Two weeks to turn their lives around, if they're willing to accept the hardest challenge of all, to look at their lives and change. It's the chance they prayed for. It is the gift. My name is Richard Mackwitz. I'm a former Navy SEAL and author of Unleash the Warrior Within. The life and death experiences I've faced have taught me that everything's about hitting targets. I became a life coach so that I could use my skills to help other people achieve their goals. The Heron family is in crisis. I can give them the tools, but will they take them and use them? I don't know. Good morning. Good morning. Can I come in? Yes, come on in. Excellent. How are you guys doing? Nice Good morning. You. Thank you for letting me come and visit you this morning. I appreciate it. My name is Richard Mackowitz. You can call me Mac. And I am here to help you take your life back. We only have 14 days to make a huge transformation to take you from where you're at right now to something amazing. This is the gift. When I first walked into the Heron family's motel room, for a second, it was a little overwhelming, truthfully. But then when I watched how the family displayed love, how they worked together as a team, I couldn't wait to get this process started. Jamie, can you give me some socks? I would describe Ricky as very laid back. Can, can you pass me on tennis shoes? He was too laid back. Vanessa was always working, but her priorities were confused. I'm writing at my desk when I don't have lunch money. I'm writing at my desk uh, for that hour. She needed to focus on stability before she followed her dream. I am absolutely committed to seeing that the Heron family never lives in a motel again. I would like to just start off saying, I believe that if we work together, we can make an amazing difference in your life. Tomorrow morning, you're going to move out of this room. Okay? Take only what you need. In this envelope is an address. Be there at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. But you're gonna to have to ask yourself one question before you go there. Do you have the courage and commitment it takes to see this through no matter what? Yes. No matter what? No matter what. What you're getting is an opportunity to make a huge difference in your life generated by you. I need to see the family making progress. If they don't work hard, they're gonna wind up exactly where they were, back in a motel room, barely surviving. Anything is possible from this place if you give it everything you've got. Done? Done. See you there. Take care, guys. Bye. All right. The Heron family was given a target. Be here at 7 a.m. It's 6.55. They have five minutes left. I'm standing on the target. I hope they make it. Come on. I think people become numb when they become overwhelmed. And Ricky just passed out. I was stunned that he couldn't enjoy the space for longer than five minutes before he had to shut down. With Ricky sleeping, in order for me to do any work, I had to get facts. I decided I would like to start with Vanessa. What's it gonna be like in two weeks? I'm still unsure because I'm not sure what the training is, but this is an awfully good start. <laughs> so okay. it can only be better. Okay. So what are some of the elements that you think went into actually getting you here at this point? Well, part of it is ignorance. When we got out here, we realized that the job was not there as we had hoped for it to be, as we had been told that it would be. Um, and we just kind of didn't know what to do from there. What's the fact right now? You're what? Working with me, and he's what? Asleep. And you have less than 14 days now. 
to make a radical difference? Or are you going back to the same thing? Well, I kind of feel like I could be punished because of what he doesn't do. And how does it make you feel? A little bit resentful. You mind if I go talk to him? Not at all. Ricky. Revely, revely, revely. All hands, revely. Come on, get up. I need to talk to you, brother. I'd rather confront and deal with things head on than to try and weasel around. We don't have time for me to spread this out. Tick, tick, tick goes the clock. Come on, let's go get him. Okay. So, brought him downstairs, took him outside, and I actually confirmed him with what the heck is really going on with you. You just got up into a place. The kids have toys. Brand, brand new toys. And that you just said, fine, I'm done. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> how, did, how did this not have an effect on you? It didn't seem to, to affect you much. You, you actually kind of took it in stride. You were like laid back. Hey, this is cool. And, and you kind of do that. You do, oh, yeah. you do that laid back thing a lot. Oh, that's kind of who I am. Yeah, but just because you hit a target at 7 o'clock in the morning doesn't mean you don't have to hit a target at 8 and 9 and 10 all the way to whenever you get finished with your day. Are you going to squander this opportunity? No. Do you really think you're that tired? At that moment, I was. So guess what? In life, to be successful, you got to do things you don't want to do. To me, it was an attack on who I am as a person. People say, having a family is a lot of hard work. Well, I'm going to work. I'm doing everything right. You could tell there's so much anger. There's some doubt. There's fear. There's all that stuff. What we need to do is get that on the table. You look like a man in deep thought. Like you've been really thinking some serious thoughts. Right. What do you got for me? Well. You said there's no way that you could be so tired. Just in that instance of a three hour nap, you perceived you knew who I was. You haven't seen the years of work, the labor, the toil that I have done. When you see me, you really can't see the pain, the heartache, the struggle. But, but how is that relevant to taking and seizing an opportunity? Vanessa, what do you think of that? Pretty much I sense some anger. No, 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 no anger. I think you're angry. I've never, he, he's not normally that angry. I know that Ricky was a little concerned because he felt like he was treated as just being a lazy person because he fell asleep. You told me this process has been going on for around 10 years. As far as that, working stable jobs. Yes, yes. and bouncing and around, around okay? Do you think it's possible that maybe some mistakes were made along the way? Yes, I'll say that. Who put you here? I did. So, who's responsible now for getting you out of here? Me. Exactly. If you're fixating on the things you can't do anything about, it's going to act like a drag parachute on your back. What does not kill you makes you stronger. But you have to take action for things to change. What actions are you going to take to actually make changes? To take back your life?